I heard oh Lord, we give you the praise. He says of the Lord mercy that we are not covered. For his compassion faileth not. We are new every money. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. on the pit of hell against every conspiracy of the enemy from the kingdom of darkness against this program we are going to say father we neutralize we frustrate every enemy agenda against this program today in the name of jesus you enemy agenda you evil voice we silence you in the name of jesus lift your voice and talk to them we silence
the chief we are all here to thank God for the times and the life of Chief Smart Okoro and on a day such as this is also a day of sober reflection where individuals have to take a stock taking of our own lives and evaluate our lives to see whether we are pleasing God with our lives and whether on the last day when your time is up on this side of the divide you'll be remembered for something good before we proceed further into the world, I want to also acknowledge the presence of great men and women of God in this gathering here this morning. I also want to recognize the presence of members of Igbo Modian Traditional Council. Yes, put your hands together for Jesus. Friends, family members, and well wishers have come to celebrate with this family and the immediate family of our beloved brother and father smart okoro i want to believe god that everyone will not return back without a testimony in jesus verse 13 and 14 ecclesiastics chapter 12 verse 13 and 14 the bible says let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man he said fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole assignment of man on the earth. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. The Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, I'll be sharing with us on the subject, what to do with your life. What to do with your life. Yesterday was the service of songs for this occasion. And people came out here and said very good things about the life of our brother, uncle, and father. The summary of the testimonies people gave yesterday about him was that he's a man of peace. That was Chief Smart Okoro. What will be said one day about you? Will people gather like this and say, oh, that man is a good man. We heard yesterday Somebody said, this man, we are all gathered here to pay our last respect. He's a good man. He's a man of peace. Will such a thing be said about you? Will such a thing be said about me? Very quickly. I would like to take you through the scripture we have just read. And I will need you to understand that in this life today, many understand life differently. And I needed to go through this so that somebody can have the, the right perspective of life while you are here. 
the number one category of people we have today living life are those who live life at random these are those that say what goes around come around these are the kind of people you meet that live life to chance as occasion demands today somebody will say will you drink oh yes what am i doing with my life i will drink will you smoke oh if that's a rainy thing i will smoke young girl will you dress naked oh if that's a rainy thing what am i doing i'll dress naked living as occasion demands people's life that is not why God gave you bread to live. We have a second category of people who see life differently. These are those who live for themselves. These kind of people are people who don't respect the opinion of God. They don't respect the opinion of man. To them, life ends with them. These kind of people, they are a law to themselves. You hear these kind of people saying things like, Leave me alone. Is it your life? I have my life to live. You don't have your life to live. Because the life you have is not your own. Somebody gave it to you. And one day you return back to him. To tell him what you did with that life and that's the truth you return to him one day see you mother cannot advise you pastor cannot cancel you you are a lord to yourself you are a lord to yourself nobody can tell me how to live nobody can tell me what to do with my life I want to remind you that the Bible said, one day the curtain of eternity shall be drawn on time and everyone shall appear before their maker and give account of their lives. Don't live to yourself. People that live to themselves end as slaves in life and they end in disaster after this life in case you are here like that you are not under the authority of anybody wife husband cannot calm you down husband pastor cannot calm you down it's what you like you do i want to tell you on this day one day that your energy will come to an end one day that your ego will come to an end one day that your self will there are some people with very strong will nothing can bend it not even god one day that self will must bow to death and that is why god is speaking to you today to amend your ways and be remembered for something good where your time on this side of the divide is over and the number three category of people we see living life today are those who live life for gain they are living life as if they came with something into this world and they will go out of this world with something. They are living life to see how much money they can make. How much land they can grab. To see how much achievement they can make. Just in a hurry and hurry. God is not in the factor. The Bible says, What shall it profit a man? If he gains the whole world 
and loses his soul. There is a man that will not go to church Sunday morning because he said, I have to be in my business. One day, you will not have the time to rush to that business. One day, the only thing that will matter will be the things you have done for God while you were here. In case you are living like that, I want to announce to you, you are wasting your life. Job said, Naked came I into the world, and naked shall I return. Brethren, good afternoon. My darling and my mommy is good afternoon. My sisters and my brothers, friends and well wishers, the lovers of God here, I welcome you all. This is the story of my father. Biography of Pa Akabari Smart Okoro, aka Ishakene. Kabare was born 97 years ago to the family of Pa Okoro of Itumugo clan and Mama Titi of Obenta clan, both of Obe Mudai community of Agbo. Pa Kabare Okoro did not have early education due to the demise of his parents in his prime. He and his younger brother, Pasande Okoro, grew up under the tutelage of their uncle and aunties as orphans. While growing up as orphans, they stayed with their paternal auntie called Nem Onwai Atihobi. With their paternal uncle called Pa Opale. And their maternal auntie called Nem Oyara the wife of Bienose Ayokbe and the younger sister of their mother, Titi. At his tender age, he started as a farmer. Story was told by Nemi Made, Papa's younger cousin, the wife of Pa Atapia of Ibobe. How Baba, his younger brother, and herself used to go to farm all alone in their tender age. That Baba would carry his frail younger brother on the shoulder while herself walked ahead of them. Later in his life, he learned and became a tailor. He plied his trade in the house after Morgan's house and before near Wanin B.S. house, near Azobo's house, along Old Obi Kechuku Road in Mobi. Story was also told by Pa Amak Magba, the son of a noble and erudite scholar, Pa Mwa Okoro of Obey Sokman, that Pa Kabare was the favorite tailor of his father. This work he did alongside his subsistence farming. As time progresses, Baba sought and got a job in the then famous water board of the then Belder State. Prior to getting a job at water board, Baba also functioned as a barber. Baba, as a young man, was very sociable and was one of the he was one of the prominent member of the foremost and famous Agba social and cultural group called Itu Egunemu, whose presence is rightly felt here. He was a supportive vocal backup to Pa Ndidi Nkeki, the lead singer. But I also played the big clay pot called Udu. Some of the famous songs composed and rendered by Baba was a shin ijebode 
no terror, it is you. With the steam, Baba has traveled far and wide to do what he knew best. Later in the years, Baba was retrenched from the service of Bender State Water Board and was subsequently employed in the service of Delta State Judiciary as a security guard at customary court in Mobi Apple, where Baba worked for many years till retirement, old to age. Baba, while alive, had a robust relationship with his late younger brother, Basonde Okoro. They existed like Siamese twins. They were always seen together and did so many things together. They own farm life together and build their living homes together. Their homes were made of two identical arms with a passage separating them. Their relationship was never like that of brothers, but a father and a son. For all the years I knew them, I have never heard late past Sunday called Baba Brother Kabari. Nor have I heard my late father called called his younger brother by his name. While on earth, late past Sunday would address Pa Akabari as Baba. Why, Ka why Pa Akabari would use a codified sound to call the attention of his younger brother? But sometimes both of them will use the codified sound to call each other's attention. The social cultural group Itu Egulemu which Baba was a prominent member, also had his younger brother as a member. Baba was a peaceful man and at peace with all that came across him. May he so rest in perfect peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Adieu, Baba, to the meet and part no more by Chukweku Akabari Okoro, the first <clears throat>
Dunamis International Gospel Center at Bobby, opposite White House, or Dunamis International Gospel Center. Would you stretch your hands in their direction? I believe you came in here with a blessing in your heart for them. Go ahead, release that blessing in this way, this direction. Release that blessing over this family. Ask that the Lord will help them. Ask that the Lord will prosper them. Ask that the Lord will increase them on every side. Where their father stop, there they will take off. They will do greater exploit than their father. Greater exploit than their father. What their father couldn't achieve, may they acquire receive grace to achieve it. Ten times more. Ten times more. Ten times more. In the name of Jesus. This longevity grace upon this family of Chief Smart Okoro. Okoro, the same be released upon every one of you. You will exceed the age of your father. Amen. You will exceed the age of your father. Amen. You will not be cut short before your time. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord preserve you. Amen. Your going out is blessed. Amen. Your coming in is blessed. Amen. From this day and forevermore, Amen. the sun shall not smite you by the day. Amen. Not the moon by the night. Yeah. Whosoever raise their hands against you, every praise the enemy counter attack against you, against this family. By reason of this event, this occasion, today we set it on fire. Yeah. Every counter attack, enemy arrows, projection from witchcraft covered against any member of the family. Today we set it on fire. Yeah. You are preserved. Yeah. Your household, they are preserved. Yeah. And you shall fulfill your day. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. Please can you kindly return to your seat. Um, the rest of us, we are not sitting down again. We are closing right away. Thank you. Lord, we give you the praise. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release the blessings of God upon your life today. Everyone that has come in here to be part of this occasion, I decree you shall return back to your destination in safety. The, every enemy agenda against you, your family, today is set on fire. Every enemy counter attack, replace the attack from this occasion against anyone's life today is set on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. And from this place, you shall return with your testimony. You are blessed. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. In the name of Jesus. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit live and abide with you now forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May I request that the honor. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Ok
whom he will and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone which see the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and he will raise them up at the last day blessed and holy is he that had part of his first resurrection on such the second death had no power but there shall be priest of God and Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God be with you all. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. We need to be If you are a man. I'm <laughs> 
check your time with me even when we get started in a moment right now we are starting almost three hours behind schedule therefore we are starting very very belated and uh, as a result i would like all of us to please be very prepared as we are about to commence with the program that has been designed for this activity today you are here on invitation and you are still within this environment or within this vicinity and yet to locate that canopy design for your group please i'm appealing that you do that as quickly as possible to ask 
Because I know that as children of God, we must have all prayed before we left our various homes. I equally understand that on the courses of our individual prayers, we all requested for Johnny Mercies. That was why somebody like me left the Edo State Capital this morning to come and greet this occasion. Thank God we are all comfortably seated. You could be the first man or the first woman to arrive here. Maybe when you came, nobody was here. You sat down all alone. But right now, to tell you how heaven has agreed to bless you, if you check in front of you now, check behind you, check at your sides, numerous people are sitting close to you. Therefore, if you are somebody who believes in togetherness, you are somebody who believes in unity, you are somebody who believes in one love, and right now somebody is sitting close to you, please, it's not the command. I only want to request that in three ways, First, shake somebody close to you, tell your neighbor, I am blessed. And again, shake somebody close to you, tell your neighbor, I am a plus, I am not of minus. And this time, without hesitation, shake somebody quickly, tell your neighbor, from today, I am the head, I am not the tail. And if you claim to be the head and not the tail, let's stand up and shout a bigger hallelujah unto the supernatural God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Are you that man or that woman? Putting your hands together for Jesus Christ. MC Boa is my name. I'm already in the spirit. God has asked me to remind you that how many times you clap will determine how many years you are going to last. So if you clap 200 times, you have 200 years to live. If you clap 100 times, you have 100 years to live. And if you clap only 4 times, count yourself. It's only 4 days you have. Are you tired? Begin to put your hands together for God. Thank you very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you are the man who saw somebody coming and decided to follow, I think it be a Kagbere Okoro and Miss Rita a Kagbere Okoro.
you can dance with your club uh, under your canopy so this time we are calling on mrs margaret utomi mr and mrs utomi time one of our own anybody be a very turn because of mr and mrs utomi quite a many Get